everyone this is Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation using variable separable method so let's get started solve x y square plus x into dx plus y into x square plus y into dy equals to 0 we have the given differential equation is x y square plus x into dx plus y x square plus y into dy equals to 0. So in these two terms you are having x right. So take x common you will get x into y square plus 1 into dx plus here you are having y common in these two terms so take y We'll get y into x square plus 1 into dy equals to 0. Okay. We simply took x common from these two terms and y common from these two terms. Fine. So you could write this as x into y square plus 1 into dx equals to minus y into x square plus 1 into dy. Since you're having differential dx, so here you have to get terms of x and here you are having differential dy. So you need to get terms in y. So you would write this as x y take x squared plus 1 here into dx equals to minus y y y squared plus 1. And take y squared plus 1 to RHS. Okay. So here the variables are separable. Okay. Now we'll integrate on both sides. Integral x by x square plus 1 into dx equals to integral minus y by y square plus 1 into dy. See here, you need to take or remove y terms and from this you have to remove x terms right for this purpose what you'll do is you'll simply divide by x squared plus 1 into y squared plus 1 to this equation okay then you'll get we'll divide on both sides okay So that you'll get x into y square plus 1 into dx by x square plus 1 into y square plus 1 equals to minus y into x square plus 1 into dy by x square plus 1 into y square plus 1. Simply you can cancel. Then you'll get this term. Okay. x by x square plus 1 into dx equals to minus y by y square plus 1 into dy. Or you can write this step directly. Fine. Since we know that Integral f dash of x by f of x into dx equals to log mod f of x plus c. Right? If f of x equals to x squared plus 1 
then f dash of x equals to 2x, right? Derivative of, that is d by dx of x square plus 1. Derivative of this with respect to x is, derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x, plus derivative of 1, that is constant with respect to x is 0, so you get 2x, okay? Fine. So then, integral 2x, that is f dash of x, by f of x, x square plus 1 into dx will be equals to log mod f of x, that is x square plus 1. Okay? So, in order to apply this formula, this formula here, we need some 2. Right? You need a 2. So, what we'll do is, we'll simply multiply and divide a 2. You could write this as minus integral y by y square plus 1 into dy. Here also, in order to apply this formula, you need a 2 here beside y. So what we'll do is, we'll multiply and divide 2. Okay. Now you can take 1 by 2 as a constant and we can take it outside the integral. Then you'll get 1 by 2 into integral 2x by x square plus 1 into dx equals to minus 1 by 2 into integral 2y by y square plus 1 into dy. Now we can use this formula directly. Then you'll get 1 by 2 into log mod x square plus 1 equals to 1 by 2 into log mod that is minus 1 by 2 into log mod y square plus 1 plus integral constant c. Since we are having log in both the terms so that you can write the constant in terms of log. Then 1 by 2 log mod x square plus 1 equals to minus 1 by 2 into log mod y square plus 1 plus log c. Okay? You could write this as Okay, now take this to LHS, you will get 1 by 2 into log x square plus 1 minus become plus 1 by 2 log y square plus 1 equals to log c. Now take 1 by 2 common from these two terms, you will get 1 by 2 into log x square plus 1 plus y square so y square plus 1 equals to log c then log x square plus 1 plus we'll have log here right log y square plus 1 equals to 2 log c since we know that log a plus log b equals to log a b so this becomes log a into b equals to, we are having 2 log c, right? We know that m log n can be written as log n power m. So, this becomes log c square. Since c is constant, 
so that you can write it as c that is log c so from this since we know that if log a equals to log b then a equals to b then you could write this as x square plus 1 into y square plus 1 equals to c square now you can change c square as c since c is constant that is arbitrary constant so you write this as c therefore x square plus 1 into y square plus 1 equals to c is the required solution for the given differential equation. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.